my fellow Americans, on Saturday, at my direction, the United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan, that killed the Emir of Al Qaeda, Iman Al Zawiri. You know, Zawiri was uh, Bin Laden's leader. He was with him all the, the whole time. He was his number two man, his deputy at the time the terrorist attack 9/11. He was deeply involved in the planning of 9/11. One of the most responsible for the attacks that murdered 2,977 people on American soil. For decades, he was the mastermind behind attacks against Americans, including the bombing of the USS Cole in 2000, which killed 17 American sailors and wounded dozens more. He played a key role key role in the bombing of U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, killing 224 and wounding over 4,500 others. He carved a trail of murder and violence against American citizens, American service members, <clears throat> American diplomats, and American interests. And since the United States delivered justice to bin Laden 11 years ago, Zawahiri has been a leader of al-Qaeda, the leader. From hiding, he coordinated al-Qaeda's branches and all around the world, including setting priorities for providing operational guidance that call for and inspired attacks against U.S. targets. He made videos, including in recent weeks, calling for his followers to attack the United States and our allies. Now, justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. The United States continues to demonstrate our resolve and our capacity to defend the American people against those who seek to do us harm. You know, we, we, uh, we, we make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. After relentlessly seeking Zawahiri for years under Presidents Bush, Obama, and Trump, our intelligence community located Zawahiri earlier this year. He had moved to downtown Kabul to reunite with members of his immediate family. After carefully considering the clear and convincing evidence of his location, I authorized a precision strike that would remove him from the battlefield once and for all. This mission was carefully planned, rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. And one week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. And the mission was a success. None of his family members were hurt, and there were no civilian casualties. He will never again, never again, allow Afghanistan to become a terrorist safe haven because he is gone, and we're going to make sure that nothing else happens. We will never forget. Memorial also bears the quotation from Virgil. No day shall erase you from the memory of time. No day shall erase you from the memory of time. So we continue to mourn every innocent life that was stolen on 9-11 and honor their memories. To the families who lost fathers and mothers, husbands, wives, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and co-workers, on that searing September day, it is my hope that this decisive action will bring one more measure of closure. Thank you all. And may God protect our troops and all those who serve in harm's way. We will never, we will never give up.